Hey guys, here for another Android video. Here I got a very cool email app that just came out yesterday. It's the Microsoft Outlook Preview Email App. This app used to be or is available on Windows Phone and tablets, and now it's finally here on Android, and it's very, very cool. Um, here we got the accounts you can actually link to the e to the email app, Exchange, Outlook.com, uh, Google, iCloud, Yahoo, and a couple other emails and you also have OneDrive and Dropbox that you can actually link to this app for attachment and all that. Uh, let's go ahead here back. Let's go ahead here back. Uh, this is how the app looks. You can also see it in landscape mode as well. It looks very good. Um, let's go back here in settings. If you want to go to settings, you tap right there, go here and here is the accounts that you have linked. Right now I have my two Gmail and I have Dropbox box i could tap right there and there you go you have access to this where well, you could go ahead and choose yahoo as your new email or you could go ahead and choose for example icloud and you could choose your icloud email right there um here you could choose the calendar that you want to use if you want to use um from gmail or from any other site uh the signature signature is very cool here you could assign a different signature per account if you go ahead put all all accounts the signature here is going to appear on every account of email that you have if you click per uh, you could choose a different signature for a different email that's cool and of course focus inbox i'll show you what stats uh, focus inbox is right here uh, this is basically um you should be getting here like the hot emails people that you get emails a lot or that you do a lot of interaction um this app basically tries to predict that okay you might want to get email you might want to see this email from this guy blah 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 and that's what it is uh the more you use it the better it's going to get right now since i just started using it yesterday it's not going to be that accurate um here and other is basically your new emails this is your normal inbox where you're going to get all your new uh emails and all that you tap right there you can see your emails and it actually looks very good the emails and the colors the pictures looks very cool as well click back over here if you want to delete an email you could just go ahead swipe completely and it'll completely delete you can tap right there to undelete it or undo um, if you want to archive you could tap right there swipe only to the middle you see there swipe to the middle and it will automatically archive it uh you if you want to schedule you could swipe to this side and you could choose to schedule in a few hours this evening tomorrow or choose a time and that's it that way tomorrow whatever time you choose is going to give you send you a notification of that email again uh one thing that i i like about this email app is the quick filters when you click right there you click unread it's only going to show you the unread emails that's good if you want to reach um, inbox zero that is very 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 good and if you want to eliminate the filter here all you got to do is tap right there and it'll go back to the normal inbox you can tap right there and flagged is going to only show you the flagged emails that you have uh, for example if you're on gmail you star an email that you consider important and you want to read later on it's going to be right there in flag which is awesome you can also choose files and whatever um email you get with files attached it's just going to show you that it's just going to show you the emails with files attached and you could go ahead and clear it there as well clear the filter as well and that's very cool um here you got all your inboxes you can see go click all and then you're going to receive emails from all your inboxes uh, here you could go ahead um, see when the email is new it's white and when it's uh, red already it's gonna see like grayish um, here let's go ahead back um, collapse that you could switch but per email right there like that just like that and calendar you go here to calendar you can see or your agenda uh, you go switch per days over here click over here and you can see what's in the day uh, here calendar you got agenda you got day if you want to see per day and um, if you want to add something to your calendar you click right there you can add something to the calendar right there if you want and you choose a time and once you choose a time you're going to be entering there very cool uh, calendar settings here you can choose um, 
activate anything from any calendar that you have assigned to this app. If you want to see birthdays, you click right there. If you want to see ho holidays in the United States, you click right there. Keep in mind, you might have to go here because it's not enabled by default. So you might want to go here if you want to see the holidays and the birthdays in your calendar. Make sure you do that. And that's it for the calendar files you just can see all the files per emails that you have received on gmail or whatever gmail account uh, if you go to dropbox uh, which i have already assigned you can see over here all your files in dropbox you keep going down you can see the folders right here like you see these are all the folders right there and um that's it um also let's go ahead back here to the emails uh, something very cool here. Let's go ahead and create an email. Uh, you have here the option, right, to choose whatever email you want to choose for, to send the email to, subject, and all that. You got the signature right there. Um, if you want to, for example, I want to add an attachment, click right there. I can choose a photo from my gallery. Let's say I choose this photo right there. I'm just going to choose that photo. This is how it looks. If I want to choose a file, I could go ahead and click right there. And I could go ahead anywhere. I could go to Dropbox and choose a file. Click right there. And it's automatically generate a link to that file. Like you see there. Very, very cool. Uh, you can also, which is very cool over here, tap right there, send availability. It's a very cool feature. For example, if you're sending somebody a week of meetup this time, on 6 at 1 p.m. and choose OK. Look at that. That looks very cool. Here are some times that work for me. More chick, six, blah, blah, blah. You can send that right away. Uh, you can also, you also have the option to create an invitation. Uh, you can choose whatever date you want here. Uh, let's go ahead and choose, uh, let's go ahead and choose a, just a date, any date. Go ahead and choose this date at 2 p.m. and here meeting meeting let's go ahead food <laughs> food here uh, DQ uh, date time duration of the t of the meeting two hours and click boom just like that like right away you just created an invitation meeting invitation when blah 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 location dq blah 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 very cool very awesome way to send emails and once you're done of course you send the email right now i don't i don't have a recipient so that's why it says uh enter email there one thing if you don't like the focus inbox like i do i don't really like the focus i'd rather see just one inbox you could just go ahead and eliminate it by going here and uncheck or turn the switch off for the focus and that's it that's all you get you just get your new messages per inbox which is for me is way better it looks less cluttered i don't really like the focus inbox feature this is very good and the quick filters is awesome make sure you use that a lot and i like the way you could attach uh, the files and i like the way you can send availability and create an invitation that's very cool so guys that is it this was a look at the microsoft outlook preview email app which is totally free and i'll leave a link in my descriptions that way you could download it and try it out